Jamie LeBlanc. I'm the president of NALTC. Uh, this is the P1000 Krupp Rata. Um, this was a proposed project that the Germans were thinking about doing, basically taking a battleship turret and putting it onto a big tank chassis to roam through the steppes of Russia. It was supposed to be, as I said, a thousand tons. Um, it was going to be had uh, 40 people, I think, man it. It was going to have a, a vehicle bay for two uh, BMW motorcycles. I mean, the thing was a it was a monster, you know? I Basically, what you're looking at is a rolling target for the United States Air Force, you know? <laughs> but, uh, no, it's, it's, there's a lot of different things online about it. They really only got into the planning stages. But truly, it's, it makes a great, great build. I mean, it's, it's a fun model, especially you watch all the kids come by, and they're like, oh, my God, it's huge. <laughs> so... Th things like this from history, especially around wartime, are so interesting because it just shows the experimentation and the, the different thought processes that are going on and, like, what, what can we possibly come up with that will give us an edge over the enemy? Exactly, exactly. So, I mean, that's where the mouse tank came from, 188-ton tank that couldn't go over a bridge in Europe. It's like, yeah, okay, not really a good thought process. But so, yeah, I mean, this thing was just crazy. It's a fun build. You're looking at about 50, about 50 pounds of solid brick. I mean, it's it's a it's crazy to move the thing. Um, the the main guns depress and elevate. The turret goes 360. Uh, there's about 1,300 of the large track links on it. Uh, the wheels are actually uh, the the big radar dishes, the uh, eight stud radar dishes. There's 180 of them in here, and it rides on eighth inch steel axles because I actually keep breaking all the uh, Lego axles. So. <laughs> You know your build's intense when you're breaking the Lego axle. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, so since this bit was never actually made into a real tank, what did you kind of base your design off of then here? Uh, they, as I said, they started coming up with uh, some of the basic engineering ideas. Uh, they did some models and prototypes, like uh, a scale model, you know, nothing large. Uh, so I, there's a lot of dimensional information out there. Uh, the tank itself is about 114 feet long, about... 45 feet wide and it was about 30 feet tall. So if you kind of figure the minifig 135th scale, you kind of start getting an idea of how large this thing needs to be for you. So, and that's really, I mean, some of the, I, I tried to keep to as much information as available. Some of it's probably artistic uh, license on my part, but I tried to get it as close to probably what it would have looked like if it had ever been built for those 10 minutes before it was destroyed, you know, so. <laughs> exactly. Now, can, is there much playability with this? Does the turret move or things like that? Yeah, the main turret moves 360. The guns depress and elevate. And in actuality, with the 8-inch steel axles, if you were to put it on the ground, you can actually move it. It'll, it'll actually push. Now, everybody's like, oh, you got to motorize it. I'm like, with what? A Chevy V8? What am I going to do? You know, I mean, you're, you're, you're talking 50, 60 pounds of Lego weight. I, you know, I'd strip out Lego gears and everything as you know, fast as I could turn the motor on. So, I mean, you'd have to change the entire running gear to something of the, uh, you know, a model like, uh, what do you want to call them, a radio-controlled model car or tank or whatever it is. So, no, that's okay. It's, it's a good static <laughs> model. Thank you very much. <laughs> and is there interior at all in this? It looks like there's kind of bays there, but then is it pretty much just kind of structure underneath there? It's really structure underneath because you, you're dealing with, uh, with the tracks. There's three sets of those tracks on either side. It's so wide, and you have a very thin actual centerpiece that goes down. I really needed the integral structure there and then something for the eighth inch steel axles to go into to support the weight. So I, I've thought about actually tearing it apart and doing like interiors. Like you could see the inner parts of the turret or the motor and all, but I'm like, I don't know, it just sounds like a lot of work. You know? <laughs> and when this comes to a show, is it all just uh, all together as one giant piece? Yes, yes. Uh, the turret rotates into the back. I depress the gun so they actually rest on the deck. Kind of the, uh, the, uh, the the flat guns and everything else come off and kind of set down. But then literally, it's just you manhandle the, the thing. Uh, what I need to do is build a crate for it so with some handles for it just easier to kind of drive it in and, like, try to get it into the car to get it into the basement, you know. But uh, it's a monster. I mean, it's a monster to move. It's a monster to pick up. But it's a great it's, – it's a fun build because, as I said, kids will come around and everybody will be like, they're just their mind is blown because there's this tank that's this big. It's I mean some of the kids that come around the, the tank's actually bigger than the kid, you know. So which makes it even more fun, you know. So you just got to get some tips from Dan at Brickmania on crate building for yeah, for exactly, giant builds. Exactly. So what I really want to do is see if I can find a picture of an old uh, German supply crate 
and see if I can mimic that with some of the markings, you know, on the outside, and then drive it in, seal it up, and have hopefully one of my club mates is there to help me pick it up and, you know, put it in the car. <laughs> sure. Well, great work. It is a, a, an incredible looking model here and such an interesting uh, part of history with the, the story behind this. So thank you. Oh, thank you very much. I mean, that's kind of the fun part, introducing people to history that they might not really know, you know. So, I mean, granted, there's the world of tanks and you can do this, but to actually see it fleshed out, I think, uh, I think a lot of people think it's really fun. So For sure. Keep up the good work. Hey, thank you much. Thanks, guys.